Sundays at the Square, we are back. And I am talking with Mr. Patrick Richardson. He is the executive director of the Copperas Cove uh, Soup Kitchen located in Copperas Cove. And what is that address again? 201 North 1st Street. 201 North 1st Street, located in Copperas Cove, Texas. Awesome. And so... Um, when we talk about the soup kitchen, for those who are may, who are just tuning in, can I? You know, we were, we were kind of laughing a little bit earlier. But for some of our listeners that may not know and may want a little bit of insight, what exactly is how is your soup kitchen run? Uh, do you just get soup, or <laughs> are there other no. things as well? <laughs> no, full course meal. We have a full course meal. They get their first. They get their uh, main dish. They get the dessert, they get the vegetable, they get a salad, they get and their drink and their bread. So they are they get a full course meal during lunch and a full course meal during dinner. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. Not only that, but you also said that you had a closed closet, is that correct? Yes, we have a closed closet. They can come in and get um clothes. They don't have to buy anything. They could just fill up a bag, take what they would like. Um, and they'll have that. They we also have a peer to peer veterans group meetings that we have here. Um, we also oh, that's have awesome. yes, we have classes here. I give classes during the summer for the kids that their parents are working um, and they have to stay home and take care of their siblings during the summer or something. We give small little classes, cooking classes here. The fire department comes in and give them a safety on the stove to show them how to use the stove, you know, just cut down on fires to make sure everybody is being safe at home, a safe place for kids to come here. They are feeling they're in danger or being wow. picked on or anything of that. They're here. They have television here to watch. I mean, we try to take care of you our are, people out here. Yes, we try are, to take care of them as much as we can. Absolutely doing amazing things in the community. What's the, what really what really touched me is the fact that you use your own disability check to fund the soup kitchen. That that just that speaks volumes about your character and about how serious you are about helping serve our community. So again, hats off to you for that. And then I also want to you know say hats off to you for your service in the military. You know, this is just you're really an angel in the community. You really, really are. <laughs> You really are, and, you know, it's so appreciated, you know. So tell me what, okay, tell me what it's like a day in the life of getting ready for the Copper's Cove Soup Kitchen. What time do you guys usually start cooking? Well, I come in an hour early. Um, I'll take something out, take my meat out at night, you know, make sure it's done, thawed, and come out an hour early and get everything prepared. And then by 4, uh, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning or uh, four o'clock in the evening, everything's ready for the guests to come in, and we'll just serve them, make their plates, and serve them. We can sit down and go ahead and relax and enjoy their meal. Do you do you like to cook? I love to cook. Wait, <laughs> and so I am the cook. Yes. Yeah. So not only are they getting, but they getting some good food. Okay, so give me they get give me food. give me a, a little a little example of what what a plate would be like at the at the Copper's Cove Soup Kitchen. Uh, let's see. It's kind of cold right now, so we've been having chicken and dumplings. We've Ooh. been having beef stew. Yeah, we just had um, a piece of Mexican. I just made a Mexican pizza here lately. Um, wow! Make sure they get they get fed very very well. Yes. <laughs> and, and, oh, and chicken I, and dumplings. I, <laughs> yes, I'm, I try to make sure I, I give them the respect that's due. Right. Um, I I don't just. It's not just here, guy, or it's ma'am and, and sir. You know, I give them the respect because they're, they're humans and they're children of God, just like we all are. That's right. And so I give them that respect, and they know they come in here. They're they're going to be they're going to enjoy something nice, just like they were good if they were going to any other restaurant. That's or right. Should get if they were going to any other restaurant. <laughs> yes, that's that's right. I am. Oh, I'm. I'm so excited. I'm going to, you know what? Do you guys ever need volunteers? Always. <laughs> Always. We do. I do have um, volunteers here, but, and I also accept volunteers from the community service when they have to do community service. So okay. they can come in and do that here as well. But we're always looking for volunteers for the morning shift and the evening shift. 
Awesome. And it's always an hour early. All they have to do is make sure they have a uh, food handler's permit. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, but, And how can you get the food handler's per- permit, like for someone that wants to come in and help? They can go through the city. The city always gives a class two or three times a month. Okay. Um, his name is George Skinner, and he's uh, with the city of Coppers Cove, and they give a class over at the police station. It's different dates within the uh, uh, month. All you have to do is call down there, and he can give you the dates and times that you can go on the Coppers Cove website, and it should be the dates up there for the classes. And okay. it's like a $2, $2 fee for the class. $2? Yes, ma'am. Now, that's some insight for real. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You know, you just think, you automatically think, you know, that it's going to be, you know, a little expensive or more money to be able to do mm-hmm. that. But, wow. That's... Yes, it's, a two, it's for a volunteer's um, food handler's permit. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Well, man, I just have enjoyed talking to you. Um I want to find out now. I know that one of the one of the ways I found out from you, or or found out about you and about Copper's Cove Soup Kitchen, was I saw something online about uh, fundraising that you're doing to help fund some of the things that you need to do um, at the soup kitchen. Can you give me a little more information on that? Correct. Um, like I said, we're having a Just for Success program that I'm trying to start up in here. That's giving the individuals a suit or something they can wear to an interview okay. and we're starting them on giving them help on how to present themselves at an interview so we'll give a mock interview okay. on how to dress and, and what to say and how to look to present yourself when you go on an interview to get a job. So I we want to feed them for life instead of just feeding them for a day. Give them something that they can continue to work on and build on. I, and I then a room. It. Yes, we're expanding the room so we can also have the meetings where we have our veterans meetings. We yeah. meet here, and I don't want to continue to meet where the people are eating. So a little a room adjacent to it, so they can have that meeting room for us veterans. We come in and meet. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so so yeah. okay, and so how can people if they want to get involved and they want to you know help with the fundraising? What how can they get involved and, and you know how do they find out more about it? Well, it's on. We have a web page. I'm in a uh, Facebook page. It's called Ray Carver's Coast Soup Kitchen, and you can look it up. It has the praying yellow hands on it. Okay. It should, there's a GoFundMe account on there, which will help renovate this building and get it up to where it needs to be to okay. fulfill all the things that the city is is looking for. Okay. Uh, there's a GoFundMe account on there. What that, are some of the um, things that you need done? Maybe one of our listeners, you know, might be a contractor or, you know, something and may be able to help. This build, it needs to be expanded um, from what it is right now. Mm-hmm. There's a, door, a wall that needs to be taken down so it can be all incorporated as one. The outside of the um, building is kind of tearing apart. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's in condition, but it needs some repairs. It needs repairs inside and outside. And repairs. so that's what we're trying to take care of, yes. There's a lot of things that need to be taken care of. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I, wow. So there, there are a lot of things that need to be taken care of. You also want to be able to help purchase some of the things for the Dress, dress for Success. For success, um, yeah. Yeah, and then just the daily operations. Um, yeah. When you, about, on average, how many people do you feed a day? We feed about 15 per meal. So you can 15, 30 people a day. Wow. 30. Wow. So there, there are people that, and do you have people that regularly come in? Yes. yes. Wow. They're so they're <laughs> dependent on those meals. Yes, they are. Wow. And if I'm not here, they're calling me on my phone. Are you Where serious? Are you at? We ready to eat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I need volunteers. <laughs> yeah. So you need yes. volunteers to come in helping with the prep, some of the cooking, and even like clean up yes. and things like that. Yes. They yeah. Call me. Yes. And then grocery <laughs> shopping and running errands and stuff too. All, all that. Yes, I have to do all of that. I do all that. Wow. Wow. And are you that. doing it on your own? And I'm doing it on my own right now. Wow. Well, you know what? I just, um, I'm, you know, hats off to you. 
uh, again, it's a it's a great great thing uh, that you're doing in the community. The Copper's Cove Soup Kitchen, located again where? Two hundred one North First Street, Copper's Cove, right across the tracks from Ace Hardware. Awesome. Awesome. Right across the streets from Ace right, bleh, I can't talk. Right across the street from Ace Hardware in Coppers Cove, Texas. Guys, if you're hungry, you serve from eleven to one, right? And then from four to six? Yes. Awesome. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. You have a clothes closet for people to come in and fill up a bag. They need clothing, an area for the kiddos to come in and kind of chill out. Um, you know, a safe place for them. Um, you're expanding or uh, trying to raise money to expand. The GoFundMe, yes. again, what is the GoFundMe called? It's called the Renovation and Building of the Soup Kitchen. I think that's the title I put up under there. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome, <laughs> awesome. exactly what I put. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, you, I mean, this is just awesome what you're doing. I appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, I know that, the, that um, you know, the people that you're serving appreciate it. I love what you said about the, you know, helping people to kick, to uh, still keep their dignity in all of this. Yeah. You know, that is a, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to keep, to yeah. maintain your dignity in all of this is a beautiful thing. Well, um, mm-hmm. again, I appreciate you for uh, calling in today. Um, if people want to get in touch with you directly to be able to help um, in any way or find out more information or get something to eat, do you guys have a Facebook or website or telephone number? Yes, they can go to, on the Facebook, they can go to my, a Coppers Cove Soup Kitchen, or they can give me a call at 254-661-0463. Okay, 254 254- Six six one zero four six three. Awesome, awesome. Again, thank you so much, Mr. Richardson. You are awesome. Yes, um, and, a, you. and I want to thank all of our listeners for tuning in to Sundays at the Square. You are greatly appreciated. Got to give a shout out to B106 for always keeping us abreast on what's happening in the community. I am your host, Tony Ringgold. You can find me on Facebook at T-O-N-I-R-I-N-G-G-O-L-D. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Tony Ringgold Music. Again, I, th- I thank all of our listeners. You can also always catch this interview or other interviews at myb106.com again that's www.myb106.com and again thank you for tuning in to sundays at the square always 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 remember there is enough sun for everyone to shine be blessed (laughs) 